Hi guys, welcome to this new vlog. I am just preparing something and I thought let me just film this because I'm very excited to try this. So I'm going to be making these uh, viral TikTok berry yogurt clusters and I'm just chopping some strawberries here. I have no idea like about the measurements. I bought like blueberries and strawberries and so I got yeah half a kg packet of yogurt and I'm just wondering is this enough? Like I really don't know what are the measurements. I feel like a lot of people are just eyeballing it. I'm gonna do that um, but I'm actually feeling so tired because it's like almost 11 p.m. now and I took a magnesium pill at like 6 p.m. because last night I could not sleep till like 5 in the morning I was just literally like feeling so energetic like I, I don't know what got into me but I'm assuming it's a new supplement I've been taking and don't worry this is not gonna be a, some sponsored insert but I just want to show you because I really assumed that it could be it um, I got this beef liver supplement months ago but I just finished some other supplements I wanted to test out this one on its own and I swear I only took it yesterday it says to take three to six pills a day which I thought was bonkers I'm not gonna go so boldly in with like six tablets a day so I only took two yesterday and I kid you not guys I stayed up till five in the morning and I really I don't know if it's placebo or what like I woke up at my normal time but it was very random so anyways i took that today as well but i also took the magnesium and i think the magnesium is kicking in and i'm like ready for bed <laughs> but it's fine this is not requiring a lot of uh steps so i think i'm just gonna freeze it and maybe coat it in chocolate tomorrow i actually have never made anything really with chocolate chips like i don't really know how to use them like i don't know it's just i'm not a huge baking person so it's not really in my kitchen but we'll try to figure it out i saw people add coconut oil and a bunch of stuff so hopefully it works so i have two bowls here one is for strawberries and in this next bowl i have blueberries so we have two different bowls now let's figure out this yogurt situation if any of you guys have tried this let me know if you liked it um i've just been so into watching like recipes on tiktok i'm not a great cook myself so anything that's like simple and easy to make i kind of want to try it so i will be trying something else as well maybe in this video that i saw on tiktok and i got the stuff now in the supermarket and yeah just feeling inspired tiktok is inspiring if it's like i don't know used in moderation i feel anyways let's add the yogurt oh no that's definitely enough yogurt it's actually more than enough oh my god this honey is so heavy one kg honey uh, so I'm gonna add just a drizzle, obviously. Let's try to mix. And then same for the blueberries. Mix, mix, mix. enjoy all the leftover yogurt mm. wow i love this so much okay so it's been about an hour and a half and the strawberry and blueberry yogurt clusters are frozen i am just melting the chocolate on the stove here and i added a uh, coconut oil as per everyone's suggestion but to be honest i tasted the chocolate now and it kind of reminds me of like the bounty chocolate bar like i'm not the biggest fan of coconut in stuff like i like coconut on its own or like coconut water but like in stuff it just it kind of annoys me a little bit so i hope it's not gonna be too strong in this like i can taste it but i hope it's not gonna bother me look at this beauty i'm gonna start dipping the clusters now i can already tell this is going to get messy but let's try oh my gosh this is harder than i thought how are people making it seem so easy like what the heck but nothing like licking chocolate off your fingers at 1 a.m in the morning hi guys good morning the tray is empty and i will tell you what happened so last night i was struggling to coat the clusters properly like i don't know they were just disintegrating and so i waited till today um and i recoated them again because like there was only like some chocolate on top and I was like, okay, let me just share it with my neighbors. So I just gave one plate to neighbors next door, across the street, and I just had one myself. And it's so good, but I really do think it would be 10 times better if it was with that fromage blanc, 
Blanche, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but you get what I'm trying to say. And I don't know, something about that yogurt texture when it's frozen, it's a bit like weird. But anyways, this was really nice. Let me know if you guys tried it or if you have any tips on how to improve it. But yeah, it's such a great summer snack, especially now that it's like 45 degrees or something here in Dubai. So it's like ah, so good to just have something sweet and cold and fruity at the same time. Like mm, just hits so good. Now we're going to try another viral TikTok thing. So there's this lady that made this platter somehow viral and everyone's eating this so i decided to try it as well but the thing is like i'm not really new to cottage cheese like i grew up in lithuania so we ate cottage cheese like i buy this in dubai all the time i like it with eggs i like mustard with sausage as well i like pretty much everything on this platter i don't eat pepper very often or celery but like i used to drink celery juice like i like brussels sprouts but i don't know just the combination of it all i guess is what i'm looking forward to but nothing on this plate is new to me so let's see what she's on about okay let's try i don't like this it doesn't work pepper Um, this is not a face of I'm enjoying myself. It's weird. Hmm, this is not bad. I appreciate the cauliflower. Okay, next up. Mm. I love Brussels sprouts, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Why is everyone eating it like a sandwich? Why can't we just cut it? But anyways. Well, of course, this is amazing, so. I mean, how can you not like sausage with mustard? Like, mm. yeah. Okay, let's try radish. I got a random cottage cheese with mustard. Like, like that looks like some regurgitated food. Wow, I like this. Broccoli. Mm. I think cauliflower was better. Anyways, my rating is like a 6 or 7 out of 10. It's not bad, but it's also not as good as I thought it will be. But maybe I just need some time to get used to it. I did like the Brussels sprouts and the cauliflower. Let me know if you guys have tried it and what are your thoughts. Hey guys, happy Friday. I am joined today in my kitchen by a very special guest, <laughs> Jean. Hi. I'm here again. Yes, a long so time. <laughs> Jean is my ex colleague, bestie. Yes. Yes, love her bracelet, no weapon yes. shall prosper. <laughs> love that. Alan, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so we just chatted randomly last night and she's like can i come cook for you and i'm like how do you say no to something like that <laughs> of course so they're cooking something very special today what is it chicken tinola chicken tinola so this is gonna be like a soup and it has like a green green or yellow papaya i'm sorry i'm not sure uh, yeah green papaya. Green, green papaya yeah and they like made this lumpia. Lumpia. lumpia lumpia which yeah. is spring rolls from scratch she rolled it she fried it and it is amazing so yeah <laughs> this is how we're spending our friday we have some snacks astra ate half of them or maybe i ate them i don't know but yeah super excited for this food and so happy to have you guys i hope you're gonna like it yes i would love it i love it i already love it yeah so we have here the sweet thai chili. sweet yeah. chili, chili. Yeah. sauce and oh my heart Jean is a chef. I hope. <laughs> mm. You hear that crunch? <laughs> Oops, I'm dropping stuff. So good. Oh, guys, I wish you could smell this. You smell ginger and the garlic. Yes. I can even smell like the lemongrass, but I don't yes. know if it's there. Is it there? Yes. So, Adam, what did you add here? It's some moringa leaf. Yes. Look at this, guys. I've never seen a moringa leaf before. <laughs> I mean, maybe I have. I just never bought it. Does it add flavor or nutrition or what is what does it do exactly? Both. Both. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, flavor? Is there a lot of flavor? 
Yeah. That's She's my favorite. Oh, That's my favorite. <laughs> she said she learned how to cook from her husband, yes. which is a really sweet compliment. And the food is ready. Thank it you, Ellen. <laughs> I'm sure it's gonna taste amazing. <laughs> reading this book just started it not long ago so that's the plan for tonight it was so nice to hang out with Jean I've missed her it's been a while since uh, we hung out so it was very spontaneous last minute kind of meet up but it was really lovely and now it's almost I think 11 and I'm in bed because I have an early morning tomorrow when I say early it's like <laughs> 8 a.m. so it's not really that early but for Saturday I guess it is um, I am meeting tomorrow my friend Andy and we're going for a yoga class I'm not gonna lie it's been a bit of a challenge to work out at home or like find the motivation actually to work out at home since I started working at home so it's kind of nice to just go out every now and again um, and almost like treat myself to a yoga class because like I think I used to take those things for granted so yeah I'm looking forward to it and then we have a lunch with the pastor from our church and one other girl who serves in church she's moving away to Shanghai so it's gonna be like a little farewell lunch that we just came up with um, I might also do like a grocery run I'm not sure like I've been meaning to do this huge grocery shopping and I feel like I haven't really shown this before I feel like you know um, shopping in Dubai like for the groceries so I might just show you guys what I buy, although it's going to be a bit of a random one because like I need some sauces and just like weird stuff like that. So if I'm feeling like it tomorrow, I might do that tomorrow or if not, then on Sunday. Hi guys, uh, we just finished our lunch uh, with Janias. It was only three of us today uh, because the pastor messaged us that she's not feeling well today and she was not able to join us. And I told the girls that after the lunch I'm gonna go shopping for like groceries and stuff and if they wanted to join. And so we decided to go, all three of us. So I'll take you guys along and show you where we're going. We're going to this area called Dubai Investment Park because I checked they have all the stores there that I wanna go to basically. And yeah, it's gonna be like nice and therapeutic to do grocery shopping. Like it's a tradition that me and my dad used to always have, I feel like subconsciously on Saturdays just to do groceries. So it's just a nice way to spend an afternoon. <laughs> By the way, Dubai is boiling, you guys. Like, it's incredibly hot. Let me put back the AC on. See you soon. Look at this cute and fluffy bread. Oh, so nice. They have bubble tea there. Andy's looking around. And this one, which one would you say is better? This is savory chicken floss. This yeah, is sweet. both good. Both good? This is spicy. This is gonna be sweet. Look at the kimchi selection. Wow. It's all fresh. So cool. Look at these grapes, they're like apples, so big. Whoa. But one pack of these is like 20 euros, so that's quite expensive. They have all the nice fruit here, like the rambutan, the mangosteen there. So, so delicious, love mangosteen. They have also longan here, love this as well. Red flesh dragon fruit, it's just red inside, not usually like white. There's also like a yellow one there. And they have like self-opening coconuts, so cool, like you just push it and, and drink, so nice. Taking pack choy, it's like less than a dollar, I don't know why I'm giving euros and dollars. Spinach, also like one euro, so cool. Janaya is going to Singapore but she loves durian and she's like this is so good. So you just have to let it defrost. Last time I bought my mom cookies in the same supermarket with durian and they were so strong. So be warned, try it at your own risk. There's several different brands, but she said this one is the most creamy one. So in case you are also keen to try durian at Weimart, this is the brand to go apparently. Oh, they even have the corn dog. I can't believe it. I love corn dogs so much. But it takes so much oil to fry it. We have the clams here. 
house, seafood, you can buy fresh. Okay, the girls are shopping. Look what I found. It's a baking soda dishwashing liquid. Like, how cool. Super cheap, like three euros, less than three euros. So probably definitely healthier than fairy. And it's quite a big bottle as well. Here is a pork section. A lot of supermarkets in Dubai have a non-Muslim section where you can get pork products. Last time I bought this chopsticks. Are they? Oh my god. We're sharing one trolley and look at my stuff and then look at the girl's stuff. <laughs> KLA came on a mission. By the way, look, they have lots of matcha flavored stuff. I'm gonna get a matcha because I've been dying to start making one. Guys, I found the matcha. So excited. Uh, I was torn between <laughs> this one and this one, but this one is organic and the packaging is super cute. So we're gonna go for this one. Look at this matcha chocolate. Oh my days. Boba milk tea flavored cake. Are you kidding me? Oh, I love the supermarket. Look at this passion fruit honey puree. So many interesting things here. So my food was 400 dirhams for two full bags. That's like a hundred dollars. The ladies at the counter told me that I have a lucky draw. So now I have to pick something from here. Okay, this one. Uh, yes, pick one. Okay. 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 Let's see. Is this a car? <laughs> what is it? That's cool. Lucky prize. Hey, I get a prize. Oh. <laughs> and the second prize is 666. And then third cool. Prize, That's cool. Well, I got a soda. Now Andy's turn. Okay, let's see what you win, Andy. <laughs> yeah, you can win money, apparently. No car. Let's see. A cut like this. Oh. Lucky prize. Lucky oh, prize. you're getting a drink as well. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Hey guys, look at the situation. 300 euros later, full pack, freezer, bag as well. Have one or two more shops and I'm almost done. So this is like a shopping I would do for like a month and then maybe in between I will get one or two things that I'm missing but this is like for a long time. So just across from the supermarket that I was at there's this store Italian Food Masters. They even provide I think for Airlines Airline if I'm not mistaken and there's all the food from Italy so I'm gonna just go grab uh, some pasta maybe some burrata let's see. So I got some olive oil, different pasta and I really wanted to try hearts of palm although I heard in the glass is a little bit better like in a jar but this will do so that's what I got oh and I got a balsamic as well glaze I love that with burrata and stuff like that good morning guys it is Tuesday morning I have just arrived for a workout it's been a minute since I've come to town I feel to work out twice in a week because I tend to spend a lot of time at home nowadays but I just wanted to give you a little I guess recap of the video that you just saw <laughs> so yeah I actually was gonna show you more of the grocery shopping experience in Dubai but then I realized like one shop in that it's like it can only work I guess if you're shopping like one or two shops at most but what I do is like I go to several shops so I think halfway through I just was like okay this doesn't really make sense because like everyone probably shops usually in one or two shops at most whereas I do a big big shopping in several different shops and so I guess it's not really accurate but I've been seeing this on Facebook lately where people share how much they spend in Dubai for groceries and some people you know like spend hundred and fifty dollars a month and then others like spend 500 like me and and some are spending even more than that so it really depends on the lifestyle you lead where you shop um, how frequently you shop I guess and just your diet in general so I ended up buying quite a bit of like washing liquids and stuff like that so that is also you know costly and it's not something you buy every month anyways so yeah anyways I, I hope you got a little glimpse uh, I know I only showed like one supermarket the other supermarkets are uh, also very interesting but I just I didn't really know how to navigate this whole experience so I hope you just kind of got a glimpse and a little preview of what I buy. So now I have quite a bit of stuff. My freezers are stocked up. Fridge is also quite full. UAE is a Muslim country obviously so uh, pork products cost here so so much 
and yeah i just i think i spent quite a bit of money on that even though it wasn't a lot of products but yeah okay i'm rambling on so what are we doing today so today uh, it's nine in the morning i am going for a reformer class i had to find yesterday my non-slip uh, Pilates socks. I've only used them once or twice, so I put them away. Um, I've tried a reformer class before and I was just overwhelmed how hard it is. So kudos to all the Pilates girlies. And yeah, anyway, so me and Andy are going for Pilates class, a reformer Pilates class this morning on the Palm. I'm just waiting for her to arrive. She should arrive soon and the reason for it is because it's like a, quite a new studio. I mean now it's not really new I guess because I've been wanting to go there for like half a year and I was like Andy let's just go and they have like this two class, two intro class deal so it's like 150 dirhams which is I think like 40 euros maybe something like that and yeah so it's two classes for 40 euros it's quite a bit but it's not terrible for Dubai I guess so we booked this first class today and I'll show you guys around I don't know what to expect I mean I kind of do since I've been to one but I mean I don't know what to expect in terms of my body because I'm not really in shape right now and it's gonna be hard I know that so I'm ready and I know that it's so good for you because it literally transforms your body like everyone's been talking about how Pilates is incredible to tone up your body so maybe this is exactly what I need since yoga is kind of like something I'm um, comfortable with if that makes sense like there's not many hard moves like I'm not good by any means but it's just like I know sort of what's coming and what poses they may ask you to do and you can attempt them at your own you know choice and yeah so I guess to push myself completely out of my comfort zone this is kind of good mm -hmm. 